Hello and welcome back everybody to another video of Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we were playing, we were doing a thing with Mr. Moon. I started it, did half of it, mastered level 2, and now I just mastered level 3. Um, I didn't want to make uh, some boring videos with me just jumping from flu flame to flu flame collecting them guys statues so I just finished it off camera um anyway so I finished that now all I have to do is wait for Mr. Moon got the rest of the moons and now I'm going to be doing some other quests while waiting um, I picked up one that I wanted to do right here so I think I'm gonna go do uh, that one anyway if you like what you see be sure to hit that like button subscribe to more to that and if you feel so inclined leave a comment and without further ado Game on. Nope. That's wrong. Org's made. Oh good, there's two here so I can knock those out simultaneously. The man behind the moon's quest is a time sensitive one, so I gotta be able to. So I've got to do some other stuff while I'm waiting for that one to finish. That's why I jumped quests, otherwise, I would finish that one right away. Here. Let's go talk to Cassandra Mason. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am indeed. Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, How so? and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. Thank and you. of course you'll have Penny to help you. Yep. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I, I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Thanks. Tell you what, I shall sell you this space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Oh, yeah? Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You mm -hmm. are wise to be wary in business dealings. Thank you. No catch, really. 
I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Oh, I get it entirely. Yes, an unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Thank Do you. we have a deal? Just curious. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. Okay. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Hello again. You know, the shop won't be available forever. Penny. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say, I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I Thank am you. indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Paperwork? Do they do that in the Wizarding World? I thought they had like cool stuff to be able to do that for you. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. All right, let's go talk to the house elf. Man, that's an effective way to get places. <clears throat> well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. Well, I'm no, glad you're here it. to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between right. the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Let's get Reparo. Reparo. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. She goes Are again. You holding your breath again. Penny must get back to work now. Sorry if a Bogart jumps out of, jumps out of me and smacks me, I'm going to be very upset. Just, 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 just saying. That's trippy. Or if a 
Spider jumps out, I'm going to be very upset. Or Basilisk. That, that was a little joke there, considering the house I'm in. That was a little snake joke. From Harry Potter. Oh boy. Lumos. Oh, extremely... Curious and extremely terrified. Revelio. Because I did something like this earlier, and uh, this the last one I did Lumos. was full of a bunch of arachnids. <laughs> They're person. Oh, it's man again. Revelio. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Good bringer. Revelio. Good bringer. Oh, that's not very hospitable. Lumos. Uh, nope. Oh, goody! Someone to play with. You seem a cunning sort. What fun this will be! Uh, no. For me, at least. Lumos. Crap. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. Confringo! Lumos. I was walking right into a rap Who's that? And I knew it. Lumos. Good bring up. Lumos. Why do I have, like, some bad feeling that that Lumos. shopkeeper has Confringo. some Lumos. sort of, like, thing where she's behind the disappearance? Of her husband, like purposefully locked her in this thing and left her there, left him there forever, and he went steadily crazy. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. All these 
rooms look the same. Lumos. 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 Sure, it was recording first because that would be sometimes we're all start recording and it doesn't. Uh, record it first. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. Akio! Fingardium Leviosa! There's so much trippiness going on right now. All books and no pay make one quite dull. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. If I need to place lanterns to open these doors. go. Can 
More of the trillions. Oh, it's just a chair. <sighs> Places like this give me the willies. Oh, deja vu. Oh crap. Lumos. Uh, I don't understand Lumos. why you enjoy this so much. Lumos. 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 This is like twisted in so many ways. Are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Retrace them? How so? Revelio. Doors. Hmm? Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. That way. What was that? What was that? Whatever it was, it freaked me out. Oh my goodness, it freaked me out. A good one. Now I gotta go find the other lamp. Alright, lamp number two should be Revelio Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. How do I get 
get back to the atrium. And now to go back to the atrium. Revelio. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> You're so clever, sir. Revelio. Again. Revelio. The penalty is I fall over, fall and start. All right. This is a I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. Probably. Revelio. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. Oh, well, you know what they say. I think I'll keep you around a bit Lose. longer. Oh, thank you. 
do not like being treated as a play toy though. But, you know. Akio! Wingardium Leviosa! Lumos. Sometimes a bug has got to do what a bug has got to do. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Don't slap do. me, jerk. See you in a bit. Really, man? This is getting ridiculous. Lumos. Lumos. Okay. That's new. clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. Except and now, now I'm I paranoid. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Mm. If you can match wits with me now, and do you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let like the games begin! What, what? So, so what now? Oh, my God, you... Crazy. Uh, okay. Don't 
so meticulously crafted such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon uh yeah i must say i enjoy a good challenge ah a kindred dare i say spirit so about the contract i am a poltergeist of my word oh my peeves Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! Uh, no more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I That's did. What I said. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. Sir. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. Oh, thank you. And now I I'm paranoid. I have to admit, paranoid. Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Yeah, about that. Okay, hey, I'm I'm leaving. Oh, that was quite the ordeal indeed. Hello, Penny. You're back. You're not going to turn her into a poltergeist, are you? Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? 
Hold I think on. you should explain, Penny. You have some explaining to Penny, do. Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. I'm the owner of this thing. Oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. No, of course. But how is. can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Do I not? Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Hmm. The whole thing was a giant hoax. Officer Singer. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. <laughs> and, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. I wonder in any why. Event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Yes. I can get walking straight. I'm all befuddled because of that haunted freaky dungeon. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. You got the law on you now, man. It's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's terrible. Uh, oh, it's on now. Uh, All right. Come free go. Akio. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Oh, yeah, good fight. Stupid one. Can bring them. Can bring them. Should have known better than to do business with a wily Scooby. What do you mean by that? Oh, 
I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Wait, what? Hey, know each other? You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always what? wondered why you what couldn't seem to keep on? a tenant in that shop of yours. <clears throat> I must admit, <clears throat> the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. <clears throat> Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Look <clears throat> in that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. <clears throat> uh. Spony little break yourself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. What is going on? Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. That was messed up. Like, the only thing that I've seen that was scarier than that was when I was playing Batman Arkham Asylum at 11 o'clock at night. By the way, uh, don't do that. Uh, especially when you have to fight uh, Scarecrow. Yeah, it will... Oh, it will mess you up. Big time. Trust me, I'm speaking from first-hand experience. I've done it. It will mess you up. Big. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Don't Penny speak. promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my no pleasure. Be a slave. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny and is frankly, too. you know the ins and outs All that's of the left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Um. Besters and Venom. Chad, Claudwell, and Brewster. Stitches and Drought. I don't like really any theory of these, so I'll do this one. I choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. I'd say eight, but you know, whatever. Uh, I right. suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demigai statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He is in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. 
All right, here's where I will end this video for now. Thank you for watching. Next time we will be going right here. Literally right outside Quadwell and Brewster's. My brand new shop that I just barely owned. Uh, anyway. Let me see what's up real fast. Oh, just still stop. Okay. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Thanks, Penny. Um, anyway, so like I say, um, this is where I'll be ending the video. Next time we play, we will be doing uh, the man behind the moons finishing that quest. Um, right outside of where I am right now. And we will be then continuing on in the story. Until then, this has been Lion of Hyrule. And I will catch you next time.